Hello everyone and <coughs> Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today's video will be covering how to clean your computer properly. Now, the contents of today's video will include the following. Why clean your computer in the first place? How often should you clean your computer? The cleaning process alongside with what is needed to clean your computer. And I'll put timestamps in the description so you can just skip to whatever part you want. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the show. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Okay, so there are several reasons why you should be cleaning your computer regularly and this changes depending on where you live, but here are the main reasons. Now, the obvious one, improved performance. Dust and debris can accumulate inside a computer, causing it to overheat. Overheating can cause the computers to basically have a uh, performance drop in severe cases, this can also cause permanent damage. How does this happen, you may ask? Dust is a particle, electricity acts with particles. Dust can actually short circuit your motherboard. Now, you don't want that. Another reason is better airflow. I will show you a little bit uh, further in the video right now, my radiator. It was so packed with dust, as you can see right here, airflow was basically uh, struggling. General cleaning, you should be cleaning every three to six months for external services like keyboards or monitors, stuff like that, right? Internal cleaning every six to 12 months. This varies if you are in a dusty environment. So let's say you're in a very humid or very dry environment. Um, dry environment next to a construction site, you're gonna be blasting dust into your computer and it's more often for desktops that you have to clean. So if you're in a dusty environment, I would say around two to three months, um, you, you'd be cleaning your internal surfaces. When I'm gaming, this desktop Alienware Aurora R7 does not have amazing airflow. So I blast those fans sometimes and I get dust in there. So I clean around every six months and I'm in a bit of a humid environment, you know, Australia. The first item on the list is compressed air. And if you do not have a nozzle for this bad boy, you can simply use a straw as shown with a pair of scissors to fit it on. All you need to do is cut two slits and you'll be able to slide this sucker straight onto the nozzle of the compressed air. This will then become a very flexible extension to get into tight spaces. To disassemble the computer, we are going to need a pair of screwdrivers, a microfiber cloth, an anti-static brush. Finally, to keep the components safe, we're going to need an anti-static bracelet. Before we even think about the insides of our computer, it's vital to tackle the exterior. Why? Simple. We don't want exterior dust sneaking inside and causing havoc. So grab your microfiber cloth and make sure to get into all of the nooks and crannies, the top, the sides, the bottom, you name it. Once you're happy with the external cleaning, it's time for the real deal. Getting inside the beast. We'll be taking apart the computer to access and clean the internal hardware. It's very important not to rush this step because you don't want to damage anything. Now that you have access to the internals, it's time to put on that trusty anti-static bracelet and connect it to a bare metal surface. This will ground out any static electricity inside your body. First up inside, we're tackling the radiator. It's a dust magnet, especially with that sticky dust blocking airflow. To get this done right, we'll need some extra room. That is why we are going to be removing the GPU. All you need to do is remove these four pins and push the lock tab outwards. Now simply lift vertically up. 
Now grab that nifty anti-static brush you have. It's specifically designed for delicate electronics and it's perfect for tackling slum and dust in radiators. Gently but firmly, brush along the radiator grill following the direction of the grills. This technique is effective for loosening up that stubborn dust clinging onto the surfaces. Time for the finishing touch, compressed air. After spraying out your radiator, use your compressed air in sequential pulses. This will reduce any electrostatic particles and make your system look brand spanking new. Since your graphics card is out of the case, it's perfect time to spray that with some compressed air too, then simply reinstall it in reversal of removing it. You know you installed it correctly when you hear a click. I hope you all are very confident cleaning your computers now. If you have any questions, chuck them in the comments below. Thanks again, see you on the next one.